Today we're diving into Pixverse 4.0 the latest and most advanced version of this AI-powered video generation tool. And if you've been looking for an easy way to create high quality AI videos, you're in the right place because in this tutorial, I'll walk you through Pixverse 4.0's top features, including the impressive lip sync tool, AI generated sound effects for videos, and the powerful restyle function that lets you transform your videos with just a few clicks. We'll also compare Pixverse to other AI video generation tools on the market to see how it stacks up against the competition. And of course, I'll be giving you a hands-on, step-by-step walkthrough, so by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use Pixverse to create professional quality videos with ease. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel, helps me bring you more resources, and it keeps you up to date with all the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So getting started with PixVerse is super easy and free. Just head over to app.pixverse.ai and that will take you to the home dashboard where if you haven't signed up yet, you could do so by clicking the login button in the upper right corner of the screen. And from here, you could create a free account by either clicking the sign up link and manually create your login credentials, or you could sign up via a Google, Apple, or Discord account. I'm gonna sign up with my Google account. So once you create your free account, you'll be taken to the Pixverse home dashboard. And your Pixverse home screen is like home base for your account and is where you can begin creating some amazing videos. But before we do, let me give you a quick tour so you'll have a better idea of where everything is before diving in. Okay, first on the left-hand side of the screen is your sidebar nav menu. Here you could do various things like create AI videos from scratch, add effects to your videos, create animations, manage your assets and favorites, access the API platform, and connect with Pixverse on social media. Towards the middle of the screen is what Pixverse calls their discover section and is where you could access, download, and reuse videos and prompts made by other users in the Pixverse community. It's a great way to get started with creating videos and learn how things work. Then at the bottom of the screen is the prompt field. This is where you'll input things like your text prompt, videos, images, effects, styles, etc. whenever you're creating and working on different projects. And we'll go through this in just a minute, but this stays open on every screen and is basically how you'll create content with Pixverse's various AI tools. Finally, in the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see some icons. Here you could access the Pixverse mobile app, browse the help tutorials and FAQs, monitor your credit usage, configure the language settings, and access your account settings. All right, so that's the home-based dashboard tour. Hopefully you have a better idea of where everything is. Next, the fun part. Let's use Pixverse's AI lip sync technology and add sound effects to some videos. Pixverse 4.0 lip sync technology allows you to add text to a video and it will then animate the person in the video to speak using the provided text. You can select from various AI generated voices or upload your own voice for a more personalized result. And this powerful feature enables seamless voiceovers and dialogue generation, making it easy to create engaging and dynamic video content. And it's super easy to do. I should also point out that I'm using a paid PixFirst plan in this tutorial, which gives me access to some additional features that may not be available to you if you're using the free account, but it's still super easy to upgrade and we'll go over the pricing and plans towards the end of the video. Okay, first, from your sidebar, click Create, and this opens your dashboard slash library. And once you begin creating content, you'll be able to access all of it here, and you'll get to see that in a few moments after we create a few videos. And then next, make sure you have the image or text feature selected. Then in the prompt field, type what you want the video to be. And you'll want to describe your scene and subject in somewhat detail. For example, this one will be frontal wide shot. A Scandinavian woman in a sleek white swimsuit stands tall, gazing directly at the camera. 
She's framed by rugged cliffs and a turquoise lagoon in the background. The sun shines brightly, creating a natural glow on her skin and the water around her. Cinematic, striking, serene. Then below the text field, there are some settings and some configurations that you could add to your video output. For example, this little icon gives you the ability to change the aspect ratio, add a negative prompt, which is essentially telling the AI what you don't want to be in the video, and then you could set the seed value. This is a numerical input that initializes the random number generator used by the AI model. And without getting into the technical weeds, each generation has a unique seed number. And once the video is generated, it will be assigned its own unique seed number. And you could then use that seed number in other projects to make consistent characters and maintain consistency. Next to that, you can configure the duration of your video. Right now, you could choose between five seconds or eight seconds. Next is the resolution selector. It's currently set to turbo, which will produce the video faster, but the resolution may not be as high def. If you want a better resolution, you could select it here, but it will take a little longer for that video to generate, just FYI. Next, and this is the important one, is the auto speech. This is where you can enter the text that you want the person in your video to speak. So I'm gonna have our girl say, this is your private beach, welcome to paradise. Then below that, you'll see a tab that says auto and clicking that opens the different voices you could choose from. Each one has a different avatar and name to help you choose between voice styles and genders. But if you click the little play button next to one of those, you can get a sample of what the voice will sound like. And here is Chloe. I'm Chloe, full of strength and determination. My youth is not just about dreams, it's about the courage to chase them and make them real. Then once you've decided on a voice, click on it and it will be applied to the prompt. This is the voice that will be used in the video to say our Welcome to Paradise script. Okay, there are some other settings here that you can experiment with. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna apply any more of them, but feel free to test them out whenever you have some extra time. All right, once you've configured everything to your liking, click the Create button and keep in mind the number of credits on the Play button. This tells you how much it costs to generate this video. And when clicked, it'll be sent to the AI where it will be placed in the queue and will begin generating shortly. You can monitor the progress here as well as see the prompt details of your project in the upper right corner. And due to me adding the speech and lip sync to this video, it took about a minute to fully generate, which is still super fast compared to other platforms out there. But for the sake of time, let me fast forward really quick so you could see the end result. And here is our lip sync video. This is your private beach. Welcome to paradise. This is your private beach. Welcome to paradise. Now, I personally think that's amazing. Even though I used the turbo resolution, the quality of this video is still really good. Plus the fact that I can create a video and add speech to it opens a ton of doors for various use cases and projects. I am very impressed with PixVerse's lip sync feature. Now, once you have your video, you'll see an other toolbar open up above the prompt field. Here you can download the video, upscale it to increase the resolution, restyle it, etc. Again, we're not gonna use these features in this video, but I highly recommend checking them out whenever you have some extra time. Another thing I wanna point out is the quality of PixVerse when compared to some other popular AI video generation tools out there like Runway. As you can see here, I used the exact same prompt for a video using both Runway, which is on the left, and PixVerse on the right. And I honestly think that PixVerse's output is so much better. The overall composition and smoothness that I got from PixVerse just looks more professional. I should also add that I used the lowest resolution when I created the video with PixVerse, but it still turned out a lot better. Also, as I mentioned a little bit ago, if you click this arrow in the upper left corner, it takes you to your creation library where all of your videos will be stored. And if you hover your mouse over the thumbnails, you can reuse the prompt and settings in a new project by clicking go create or download the video to your device by clicking the download button. Okay, next let me show you how to create videos from images and add sound effects to them. So this time I'm gonna upload a reference image for the AI to use when creating the video 
This will essentially turn any photo into a video. And then staying in the image or text settings from the prompt field, click that image icon. And this will let you upload an image from your computer. And it should only take a few seconds to upload. There we go. Next, type what you want the video to be. So for this example, I'll have it be a breathtaking sunset over the ocean. Next, since I used the speech lip sync feature a little while ago, I'll wanna turn it off for this video. So make sure to turn off any other settings that you have on by clicking the X to remove it. Then since I'm adding sound, I'll click the auto sound button. And here you could type what you want the sound effect to be. And let's say the sound of waves crashing. Then click the create button and send it to the AI. And it will be placed in the queue where it should start generating in a few moments. Again, you can monitor the progress here. And since we're only creating a video with sound effects, not lip syncing a video, it won't take nearly as long. I'm just really impressed with not only the quality of the video, but the accuracy of the sound effects. Just like our lip sync video, this opens the door to a ton of creative possibilities when it comes to video production and storytelling. And again, if we click that arrow to go back to the creation library, you'll see that we now have two videos here that you could manage and access from one place. All right, really quick, the last thing I wanna show you is the restyle feature. PixVersus Restyle feature allows you to transform videos by applying various artistic styles such as Van Gogh, Clay, Cyberpunk, and more. And with just a few clicks, you can completely change the visual aesthetic of a video, giving it a unique stylized look that matches your creative vision. You can restyle videos that you create here, or you can upload your own videos and restyle them. For example, from the prompt field, if you click Restyle, this opens the Restyle interface where you can upload videos and add styles to them. And you have a handful to choose from. Let's go with Van Gogh. And you'll see the style applied there. Next to that, you'll wanna click that icon to upload your video. And you can select from your current assets or a local file. And I'm actually just uploading the Ocean video that I created earlier, but it doesn't have any sound added to it, just FYI. Then I'm leaving all the other settings as is and click the create button and it will be placed in the queue and will begin processing in just a few moments. Again, you can monitor the progress here and this one only took about 20 seconds to finalize. I'm not gonna fast forward because I want you to see how quickly we get our video. It really is one of the fastest generators that I've come across and allows me to make more content in a shorter amount of time. And here is our Van Gogh-esque restyled video. Again, feel free to experiment with the different styles, sounds, animations, etc., for your next project. Pixverse is an amazing tool and it's up there with my top recommendations when it comes to AI generative video. So if you're thinking about upgrading, which I highly recommend doing, you can get started for as little as $10 per month. So if you're thinking about upgrading to a paid plan, which I highly recommend doing because you'll get access to a ton more credits, watermark free videos, HD resolutions, concurrent generations, unlimited access to multiple effects and more. And starting at only $10 per month, you could gain access to more features, opening the door to creativity and limitless possibilities for transforming your videos with stunning styles, lifelike lip sync and powerful AI driven enhancements. 
So on that note, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. With Pixverse, you have the power to transform videos like never before, whether it's bringing characters to life with lip sync or reimagining visuals with stunning styles. There's so much you could do with Pixverse and with its easy to use AI tools, you can create high quality professional looking content in just minutes. And whether you're a creator, marketer, or just experimenting for fun, Pixverse opens up endless possibilities for video storytelling. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step. Step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.